Dashing through the snow Stealing Christmas trees O'er the sparkling fields we go Flapping in the breeze Bells on bird tails ring Spirits taking flight What fun it is to fly And sing a haunting song tonight Oh, jingle birds, jingle birds Pigeons all the way Oh, what fun it is to fly And dress up in cosplay Jingle birds, jingle birds Pigeons all the way Oh, what fun it is to fly By demon kings to say <laughs> Happy holidays. <laughs> Happy holidays, friends. <laughs> Happy holidays. If you're like me, you love the holidays. And if you're like me, you're sad that they're already over. What? The holidays aren't over? There's still more holiday to be had? What are you talking about, people of the internet? And then I, and then I click that, and then I click that, and then I try to look surprised. Oh my goodness, something from Devolver and Mediatonic? What could this be? Pigeon Nation, that sounds familiar. <laughs> Adiful boyfriend holiday star, lucky me. Thieves are here to steal the city's beloved Christmas trees. We thought they were just an urban legend until now. They're after the tree, and that rhymes with T, which stands for trouble, right here in Little Dove Hachiman City. Christmas trees disappearing, a dark shadow wriggling just out of sight. Can our faithful heroes from St. Pigeon Nations put an end to this mystery before it puts an end to them? Please enter your name. Um, 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 what, what to put for the name? Oh dear, um, we're already hitting a snag. Let's just look at what words I can see. Eggnog is a good, eggnog is a good word. I already saw it. Hmm, I'm not good at this. Uh, no. I want my first name to be and rum. And my last name to be eggnog. Hey, Ryuta, what time you got? Um, it's almost six. You're not running late, are you? It's already dark out. Tell me about it. We were all talking about the nice autumn leaves and all just a few days back, and now I'm darned if it ain't winter. Christmas even is just a few days away. Swift indeed is the passage of time. Well, I'd better be heading back. Azami will be getting off work soon. Be careful, Mr. Rabu. Rabu? Rabu? There are all kinds of hooligans out and about at this time of night. No, no sweat. Where it comes to worst, I can count on Azami to save me. Are you sure you're not relying on her a little too much?
jabbering and saying all kinds of ridiculous things oh well text me and tell me if it's better when you when, the, when you find out <laughs> we put up our Christmas tree today please have a look at it as you leave Where's me? you did I never saw it on my way in. I'll have to get a real good look at it to make up. Mr. Urushihara and I put a lot of time into decorating it. I hope you like it. You bet I will. See y'all around. December certainly does feel like the end of the year. Ryuta, you're so wise. I wonder how much busier it will be this time next year. You are a sophomore, correct? Have you been thinking about your plans for after graduation already? No, not really. I just want to make sure I can take care of my mother. Worries are an important part of youth as well. Sometimes. And sometimes problems will simply disappear as you try to solve them. to provide whatever assistance I hyphen hyphen <laughs> that came from out front I believe it did let us go see what has happened it's pitch dark outside it's hard to see anything even with the light from the cafe door what on earth <laughs> A Lutino bug jar is collapsed on the sidewalk. Mr. Rabu! Are you alright? Have you been injured? Ah, ah. I let my guard down. They got me from behind. They got you. Or they got you. Whatever. Do you need an ambulance? It must have been somebody settling a grudge from your biker gang days. No, oh, no, that's not it. Oh, there. The legendary Christmas tree thieves come to our town. Dun dun dun. And me, Rum. The legendary Christmas thieves? Tree thieves? What's that? A new TV show? No, no, they're real. They're out in the streets right now, spreading misery and destruction. They've been coming up in the news a lot, too. Haven't you seen the headlines? The Christmas thieves invaded Little Davachimon City at last. Hmm, no. This is the first I've heard of them. I think... Forget the thieves. This is the first time I've heard the name of this town. I guess it just never comes up in conversation or anything. Hmm, the more you know. Do they show up every year at this time? I don't remember hearing about them last year. This is the first time they've come here. I don't know too much either, but apparently they move around each year. Dun dun dun. <laughs> I worked at Mr. Urishihara's shop, Turimi Cafe, during the summer. The job was only until August, but apparently he decided he could use help for December as well. The plot thickens. The wilderness gets very cold this time of year, making it dangerous to come home late, so I left it to Ryuta this time. That, and I need time to study. And it sounds like Tarimi Cafe is the mysterious thieves' latest victim. This smacks of drama. Drama, excitement, and adventure. I object. Oh, somebody objects. Well, what was that for? Just getting the feel for it. There's been an incident, right? 
I need to make sure my finger pointing is sufficiently dramatic for when I need to use it. <laughs> Please don't go around pointing and shouting at stuff. You'll give me a heart attack. Tell me, who's the victim? And the suspect. The victim is Mr. Rebu. Rabu. He was attacked from behind while texting a picture of Mr. Urushihara's Christmas tree to his army. And when we found him, the tree was gone. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what was that for? What do you mean the tree was gone? Please don't shout everything. You can just ask. Sorry, I got excited. Tee hee. <laughs> oh. Jeez. Well, stealing the tree definitely implicates the Christmas thieves. It's their MO. They must be wandering the town stealing any trees they see. It's it's horrible. Mr. Urushihara and I worked really hard to decorate... Oh, no, that's for Uda still. He's still talking. Blah, blah, blah. Decorate that tree, too. And now all the customers who are looking forward to seeing it will be disappointed. Monstrous. How could they steal Mr. Urushihara's incredibly classy hand-decorated tree? Let's look for the thieves. Christmas is at the, is at the weekend. They must still be in town. Hmm, I wonder... They probably are still prowling around here looking for trees. Yes, I want to get Mr. Urushihara's tree back anyway. Let's find them and run! <laughs> uh, <laughs> get and run. <laughs> you two are awfully loud today. Can you not grant the rest of us a little peace and quiet? Oh, nailed it. Oh, Sakuya, listen, they've appeared. The white demons stand poised to shatter the silence of that most holy night. Oh, that's metal. You can't just go around giving things nicknames like a certain someone next door and rum. Christmas trees are being stolen all around town, Sakuya. Maybe you've already heard? Ah, uh, you must be referring to the dribble the local rag devoted on the entire page to. Disgusting! Is there not more important news to be run now of all seasons? How telling is it that so much attention is devoted to such foolishness? You don't like Christmas, Sakuya? What? From where do you think I hail, plebeian? France, right? Oh, of course. Christmas probably means a lot more to you than to us Japanese people. The council room is already decorated with a most fabulous tree. A label overlooks nothing. I have even designed I have even deigned to place it near the window so that the masses may gaze upon it in awe and wonder. Be grateful. He who does not celebrate Christmas is not true bird. That is the importance Christmas holds for us. In other words, Sakuya gets extra jolly this time of year. Yeah, take notes. Trees are being stolen from in front of shops and on the sidewalk and other easily visible places. So you should probably be careful too, Sakuya. Don't let it get stolen! Do not place me on the same level as you orientals with your infantile understanding of private security. Did I not, did I not say I overlook nothing? Ah no, not who this villain may be, but he shall, not, he shall step not one centimeter within my territory. The cancer room security is flawless, I tell you, flawless! Sakuya, we call that sort of line a flag here in Japan. Let's start our investigation by asking people around town, Ryuta. Good idea! Let us know if you hear anything new, or get robbed, Sakuya. How many times must I tell you, my tree will not be stolen! I'm friends! Oh. Upon leaving the building, Ryuta and I are greeted by the sight of Okasan prancing about on the track. Did he get a pudding? Prancing or maybe skipping? I'm not sure. At any rate, he appears to be in pointlessly high spirits. You're in a good mood today, son. Did something good happen? It's Christmas. Christmas is almost here. What? Another Christmas fiend? Is there 
something about Christmas that wakes the ancestral jollity inside a dove's heart. Jollity. Ancestral jollity inside a dove's heart. Everything is sparkly on Christmas. Okasan is excited. And everything smells like delicious food. Okasan is very excited. Western pastry shops always look so tempting this time of year. You spend a lot of time in department stores, right, son? Have you heard anything about the Christmas thieves? Who? Villains out to steal Christmas? Steal Okasan's delicious grub? Villains out to steal pretty Christmas trees? Christmas trees? Yes, Okasan knows about them. The trees at Okasan's favorite high, so high society seagull department store disappeared. High Society Seagull Department Store. Do you know where it is, Rayuda? Yeah, I worked at the samples table before. There, I'll show you the way. Here we come, High Society Seagull Department Store. <laughs> Holiday Star. Here's me. No, that's not me. I'm a human. A girl, too. Hmm. Department stores always feel a little unrealistic, a little decadent, maybe. It makes it so hard to go in. They're okay, really. Just don't think about that and it'll be fine. He read my mind? More importantly, we need to ask a clerk about the thefts. Right, right. Um, excuse me. Uh, how does a seagull sound? I don't know. Yes, may I help you? Do you know where you are, young lady? Um, this is the High Society Seagull Department Store, right? That is correct. The High Society Seagull Department Store. Say it once more. The High Society Seagull Department Store. Good. This store is of high society. By high society and for high society. It is no place for obviously low society humans. Please leave. I object! This is blatant speciesism. I hope you are ready to swallow your words or defend them with steel, cretin. Draw, man, draw before I stick you like a rotisserie chicken. Ooh. That escalated quickly. Calm down! And rum! <laughs> Getting into a fight here won't do us any good. Please, don't act like San. And just what does Okasan have that makes him so much more high society than me? Please, we just want to ask you a question. We'll leave right away. Did the Christmas thieves really break into this store? They did not break into the store, no. They were not allowed in. However, as you know, the store faces onto the street. The three Christmas trees we had arranged outside were stolen. Trees placed outside? Just like a Tarimi cafe. Yeah, looks like they really are aiming for easy targets first. They seem to be quite crafty. I think this might get difficult, Rayuda. Oh, yeah. Ah, it's me. I can feel the thrill of the chase. My hunter-gatherer blood boils. Right on time. I knew it was gonna good idea to ask you along. The stolen trees were of little value. We have already sent away for new ones. Do you think you could wait a little before setting them up? The thieves might come back. True, but Christmas is almost here. If not now, when would we put them out? Christmas trees are just so much rubbish once it's the 26th. They're not rubbish. You can use them every year. Um, were there any witnesses? The trees were in a blind spot between security cameras. So alas, we have nothing. Too busy staring down your own noses to look out the window, were you? Oh, sick burn. I hope I never see you in here again, young lady. And with good cause. Well, that was a disappointment. About all we found out is that the thieves aim for trees placed in vulnerable spots outside. Maybe we should leave. Leave the store. Stop by the furniture section. Stop by the clothing section. Wow, what a bed. I'm not sure this would even fit inside my house. Just what kind of mansions does the high society live in? There are humidifiers, hot water bottles, and other thermal frivolities lined up nearby. Winter goods are awfully fancy. Maybe I should indulge in something. A bonfire alone just doesn't say decadent. 
Hey, and rum, look over there! Exclamation! A disturbingly familiar quail is fast asleep on a display bed. Sir, you can't just crash in a department store. You're a grown-up now. You need to take care of yourself. Ah, uh, oh, if it isn't rum and koara. What is it? Did you want to talk about career plans? Are you fully awake, sir? We're not at school. Oh? Good heavens, so we aren't. That's the narcoleptic guy, right? You might have been here until, you might have been here until closing time if we hadn't happened by. Oh, yes. It's been so cold recently, I was thinking maybe I should buy a new bed. It does get very chilly after dark. Make sure not to catch cold, you two. Mm -hmm. Good advice. Mr. Nanaki crawls out of the bed and wobbles off towards a table covered in wool blankets of various dimensions. Blankets! I bet my Casio Mini he'll... Oh, got it. I bet my Casio Mini he'll fall asleep on that, too. There's nothing more to find here. Let's look somewhere else. All right, where to next? The thefts have gotten into the news. If we ask around, we should find some eyewitnesses. Sounds good. Exclamatory question. What? Huh? Some glass object splinters with monumental crash behind us as we make the exit. I turn around and... Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! What are those? They look a little like doves, but not really. Are they... Maybe they are doves? In any case, a pair of bizarre white creatures are bludgeoning themselves against a number of glass Christmas trees and reindeer. What are those? Are they doves? Merry Christmas! The creatures crawl into the Christmas display like fuzzy wrecking balls, leaving behind nothing but broken glass and lost profits. There, the white children. Always making trouble. Oh dear, that's no good. Here, dear, where are your parents? Merry Christmas! I spent some time asking around town, but no one had ever caught sight of the thieves. <laughs> Apparently, trees aren't just being stolen from outside, but from inside houses as well. If only we knew what the culprits looked like. Maybe like the crazy little guys? There's more pigeons. Did I miss anything? Did I miss anything on, on the internet? Thank you for your efforts. We searched around where we had the tree, but we couldn't find any clues. I'm sorry, Mr. Ushihara. You didn't see them either, Mr. Ushihara? Correct. By the time Mr. Kawara and I got outside, the tree was already gone. That's it. Was there something else? Please, look at this. Mr. Rebu sent it to me a few minutes ago. Rabu. Rabu. Mr. Rushihara proffers his cell phone. <laughs> A smartphone. Fancy. Being proffered. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. You mean those shadows? These shadows are... Mr. Rabu, Rabu, Rabu said he took it just before he was rendered unconscious. Suspicious shadows carrying away the tree. They must be the culprits. Those silhouettes look awfully familiar. Maybe it's just my imagination. Probably nothing. I wouldn't have gotten this far in the vicious food chain if I worried about little things like that. There are two of them then. They're awfully small, though it's hard to see in this picture. 
Mr. Rebu has always been one for strange local phone, so it would seem that the resolution is not particularly high. That does seem like him. This will help us a lot, Mr. Ruchihara. Thank you, Mr. Rebu. Rabu. Rebu. For us, too. How is he doing right now? Azami is taking care of him. Rabu. Oh, Rabu. Always seemed to, Rebu always seemed a little bit incapable, or like he's in a subtly bad position. Sort of like he's always stuck being a background character. It's not much, but we've found a clue. We'll pick up the trail tomorrow morning. Later that evening at St. Pigeon Nations. Salutations, Mr. One. chilly tonight, isn't it? You're still here, Sakazagi. Whoa! Haven't you been instructed to leave with the other students except the emergencies? There's a little something going on, actually. Aside from the usual? And what would that be? There have been orders to investigate the Christmas thieves. High priority. That's the string of thefts involving Christmas trees, isn't it? It's not as if they're growing legs and walking away. After all, and it's a little hard to Imagine them spontaneously disappearing. And what is a night of sexy and luxurious discussion of sweet holiday love without a spark like wedding? I'm quite happy to take up the job to defend everything the ladies and gentlemen of the town have worked so hard to prepare for this special season. You certainly seem eager enough. It's good to have a little zeal, but don't go letting your guard down just because the case in question is completely idiotic. We never know. Roger that. I'll carve it into my pigeon heart, Mr. Wan. I'll go take a look at a few things then. There's a tree here on campus after all. First I've heard of it. Where is it set up? In the student council room. You can see it from the ground. Stop doing that insane voice. He just must want to show off with his big, fine, all-natural tree. He doesn't let any birdie touch it, but you can always see it in his window. It's really quite childish. Nothing wrong with a little vanity while he's still young. To a point, at least. Anyway, I'll go take a look at the council room and head into town. I'll send my report to HQ later. I'll do. <laughs> the Christmas Thieves. Stealing the town's festivity is hardly an admirable pursuit. I suppose I'll see if I can rustle up any gadgets to give Sakazaki a hand. Mm. The council room certainly has gotten some fancy renovations since Sakazakuya arrived. But this is him I'm dealing with. It'll look like sneaking in is going to be hard. But knowing him, he'll have overlooked something obvious. Exclaimed question mark. What was that? Bah, oh, this could be bad. I smell explosives. What? It's cold. Really cold. The morning air this time of year is dangerous indeed. It makes my nose hurt. The birds are all in full winter plumage. I wonder if it's like wearing a down comforter everywhere. I wish I had winter plumage. Sadly, my skin is bare and tender as my heart, so I might as well hurry up and get to school. Huh? There's an awful lot of activity on the grounds today. A crowd of birds is milling around the side of the building. Stay calm, everyone. It may be dangerous, so don't get too close. Uh, <clears throat> Let's make sure nobody gets hurt, all right? Mr. Nanaki, what's happened? It must be bad if you're up and about and wide awake at this time of day, because he's a narcoleptic. Oh, good morning, Rum. 
Well, hmm, it looks like the thieves broke in, I suppose. The thieves? <clears throat> Could he mean? That's right, the Christmas thieves. Apparently they broke in last night. It seems they took the tree from the student council room. <clears throat> nice work, Sakuya. Nice flag retrieval. But Sakuya looked so self-satisfied when he was talking about his perfect security. What happened? Mm, well, look up. Up? <laughs> As in, up at the council room? That's preposterous. Whoa! The council room's window, or rather, its wall, is blasted open. Wow, they're not just thieves now. I bet they had to break at least five more laws to pull that off. They certainly do seem to want Christmas trees. They would have been better off just asking him, though. Huh? The tree was placed near that window, right? If they broke in like this... Thinking... Ah! I let my gaze drop as I was lost in thought, and I see something white on the ground. It's extremely hard to tell with it mixed in with the broken glass and bits of plaster, but it looks like some sort of fur. It's not a feather. It looks like something that came off of a stuffed animal, or maybe some sort of mammal. But I'm the only mammal in the school. This could be a valuable clue. Standing here won't help me find anything out, though. I need to get Sakuya to tell me exactly what happened. <clears throat> I might as well check a few other things along the way. Where to first? Oh, how about I click off the game so I can't see it? Where to first? The council room or the library? Hmm. Council room or the library? I'm gonna go to the council room. Council room is wrapped in an unusually serious atmosphere. As if a robbery weren't enough, there was even a bombing. Quit clicking off of the game. Drunk and rum. Out of those two, the latter is almost certainly the more worrying, the bombing. And rum! Oh, Ryuda, good morning. As you can see, Sakuya has magnificently recovered the flag he raised the other day, as expected of an aristocrat. Uh, yeah, that was definitely first-class flag retrieval. He certainly got me looking at the thefts more seriously. Now then, on to the crime scene. <laughs> Whoa. The room does not look good. Wow! That's what I said. Sakuya's flawless security has been completely destroyed. <clears throat> what is this, Alona C? Do you mean to tell me that bombing school building is common practice in this barbaric land? Um, no, I don't think it is. Ah, oh, nuts. I've never seen anything like this before. This is beyond the pale. Who conceived this wretched plot? Who? Wasn't your security, security perfect, Sakuya? I thought you said it was on a completely new level compared to our primitive concepts. It was perfect. Around the door, at least. What kind of rascal blows their way in through the wall? If they're going to break in, why not act with some semblance of decency and come in through the door? Blowing up the window isn't exactly a common way of forcing an entry, but isn't it a little bit of a problem if there's only security on the front door? Did you see the criminals at all, Sakuya? No. I too only learned of it upon arrival this morning. But look, look at that. He gestures at the corner by the window. There's a pile of blackened stuff on the floor. What is that? Oh my gosh. It's the corpse of what's his... What is that? The Christmas tree? The Christmas tree? Or what's left of it? Looks like it got blown up along with the window. I was wondering if something had happened to the tree. It was right next to the window and wall that got blown up after, wall. Uh, after all. Nothing left but ashes. They've left a criminal ultimatum next to it. 
An ultimatum? They haven't done that before, have they? Let's take a look. We oopsed. We're very sad. The tree went boom. Saw we. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That's the best note ever. Um, we oopsed. We're very sad. The tree went boom. Saw we. It's a little lonely. It's a little lonely, but we're taking Mr. Sparkly Star. Oh, I didn't see that part. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That's the ultimatum. It reads more like a kid's note apologizing for breaking Annie Mildred's antique vase. The scoundrels! To take the treetopper, the most valuable part, and run! Treetopper? <clears throat> the star that sits at the very top of the tree. How do you not know what a treetopper is, Enrum? Oh, so that's what it's called. They destroyed the tree and stole the topper. This is a dreadful affront to my illustrious name. I swear I shall seek them, fan them, and impose upon them strict judgments. That would be vigilantism, Shakuya. Japan is a constitutional nation. You can't do that. But it's not as if I don't see where he's coming from. If I spent that much time and effort decorating something just to have someone blow up the room standing in, I'd be pretty angry too. Mr. Urushihara's tree stolen, Sakuya's tree reduced to cinders, and the topper's stolen. We have to make sure these tragedies don't repeat. But we can't really find the culprits just from this apology or Christmas card or ultimatum or whatever it is. Let's ask Mr. One if he saw anything. He's on night shift, so he should have been there. Ooh, good plan. Let us there, rum. Stop treating me like you're your underling, you satin pants prairie chicken. <clears throat> you two go ahead. I'll stay here and see if I can find any more clues. See you in a little while, Ryuta. Oh, now I gotta hang out with Sakuya. It's awfully cold in. It's awfully cold in here. I guess with a hole that large in the wall, I might as well be outside. Dr. Iwamine! I hadn't expected to see you here. I came to see the corpse. Well, what corpse? Where'd you hear there was a corpse? Oh, no corpse. And here I had my hopes up. Please don't say that with such a genuinely dejected look on your face. Well, still is quite the fascinating crime scene. I suppose I shall look around. Please, don't mind me. I have no intention of interfering with you. No reason to tamper with the evidence just yet. Oh. Alone with the doctor in a half-collapsed room. I hope I make it out of here alive! <laughs> Excuse us. What is this depressing room? It's the maintenance office. Mr. One's night quarters are here, too. I think it's comfy. It feels very lived in. Comfy! Humph! Let us do whatever we are here for and leave before the poverty and reprehensibility are rub off. Mr. One, are you in here? Salutations, mon ami. Did you come to visit me? You, yeah? He's sitting at a low tea table. Oh no, the irresponsible and slightly worn out you, yeah, might be just a little bit too attractive. I knew it, a place as disgusting as this is bound to do. disgusting company. And a very fine morning to you too, Sakuya. We came to talk to Mr. One. What brought you here, Yuya? I'm holding down the fort while One is out. Halt! <laughs> Immediately after I break in? Suspicious indeed. I suggest we apprehend him at the first opportunity. You misunderstand. He's taking care of a few things so our investigation of the theft can go more smoothly. After all, he and I both saw... Yuya and One? You saw the crime in progress? What? what We did indeed. 
It's not easy being a hero of justice. Trouble always seems to come to you. Why did you not notify me immediately? Fils et mongrel! Notify you how? I've been asking for your phone number for months, and you always blew me off. Did you see the culprits, Yuya? Yes. Here's some foes indeed. Stick your beaks too far into this, and you could lose them. Don't say I haven't warned you. Hmph! I'd like you, Mongrel, to cower in this filthy hovel out of fear. Ah, for my part, shall find these wrongdoers and have my revenge. I, too, swear to retrieve the stolen trees. On my honor as a hunter-gatherer. How brave of you. Let me reward your courage with a little evidence. <clears throat> Yuya picks up a num one of a number of photographs lined up on the table and holds it out to us. They were already on their way out when I arrived at the scene, and alas, I was unable to keep their trail. But I am a professional. I couldn't just let them get away. I made sure to capture them on film. These are the culprits. I'm telling you, man, they're pigeons. Or, they're, 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 they're penguins. I'm not a racist, they're penguins. Penguins are like that. Oh. <clears throat> what are these white things? Oh. <clears throat> See, they shock even a bold lady of hunter gatherer origin. That's not it, Yuya. I know these creatures. Oh? Are they friends of yours? Who are they, and where do they live? Tell me this instant. I don't know who they are exactly. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Here, <laughs> care. where are your parents? Merry Christmas! In any case, I have to take you to the employer's lawn. Our society does have rules. Merry Christmas! My god. Instant replay. <clears throat> Those are the two things who got scolded by the security guard in the High Society Seagull department store. Aren't they? They were caught breaking things in the Christmas section of a department store yesterday and got taken away by security. What in... Looks like they'll go after anything with Christmas on it. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Though I can sympathize with their enthusiasm for the holy night. We thought they were only going after easy targets, but it looks like once they got a sight of something, then once they got sight of, once they get a sight of something, they won't rest until it's theirs or destroyed. The entire city is filled with Christmas decorations. We have no way of knowing where they will strike next, and thus no way of ambushing them. Not necessarily. We could lure them easily with an extravagant tree in an obvious place, don't you think? They've got guts, but they don't seem particularly intelligent. I agree with you, yeah. I think we should try to bait them. And it's said, the best bait would be the finest tree in the city. Right, Sikuya? The finest tree in town. Do you know of a good one, Sakuya? Are you suggesting we use the Le Belle family's Christmas tree as a lure mongrel? Of course, given how much work he put in the council room tree, he almost certainly has a gorgeous and decadent tree at home. It seems like the best choice. And you aren't about to just let them get away with having burned your other tree, are you? Of course not. Where is your tree set up, Sakuya? In the main salon. It is not visible from outside. It would take a great deal of time and labor to move it outside and redecorate it. I do not think that it is a re I do not think that it is a realistic option. Hmm. We'll have to rely on newspaper ads and word of mouth then. The LaBelle family moved here to Little Dove Hachiman City from France, is displaying its gorgeous Christmas tree to the public or something. Who said anything about opening the mansion to the public? Why not take the opportunity to show off a little? It's your first Christmas here, after all, and it should help spread the LaBelle family's reputation. Hum! 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 French. Come on, Sakuya. Open it up to the whole city. Let every birdie know you have an extravagantly decorated tree at home. 
the thieves should hear the rumors and they'll come to see. And then we can catch them. Dude. Very well, I shall assist you. Cool. I'll get everything ready for an announcement in the evening papers. Something like the LaBelle family's Christmas tray is open for public viewing tonight. All Christmas enthusiasts, welcome. We'll be fine, right? That sounds good. But what kind of super high school student are you to have that much clout with the local, lo lo local newspaper companies? Any male dove would become super for a lady as lovely as yourself. I shall be off then. Or to you. Loose tongued cow. You is laying the bait for us, so should we work on a plan to catch the thieves at your house, Sakuya? A reason I better suggest, John. We shall plan our strategy after school zone. It's still midday, but the wind is cold. At least today was a half day. It would be freezing in here if it were already evening. Why are we having the meeting in here, Sakuya? Is it not obvious? Because this is my domain. Your domain, though despoiled. Scum! Do you mock me? There are no despoil. There is no despoiled in the dictionary of labels. Whatever. Let's just make our plan already. So Kuya is unexpectedly good at getting off topic. They used explosives here. How do you think they'll attack the mansion? They might pretend to be normal guests and sneak in the front entrance. They might, yes, but their goal is the tree. So even if they get inside, they will not be able to remove the tree. Yuya's photograph showed them to be quite small, so there was no way the two of them could carry it on. How could they get it outside then? Is that hand flute? I think they would need some sort of heavy machinery. So you think they'll show up in a truck or something? Any suspicious vehicle approaching the mansion will be neutralized immediately. So we need to have guards watching in all directions for any sort of truck or crane. The mansion opens at 7. Should we be there this evening too? Yes. We. Oui. That should help things go the most smoothly. I'll see you two there then. We need to catch these thieves before Christmas itself arrives. I still have some time before I need to go to Sakuya's house. Not quite enough time to go home myself. What should I do? Maybe I should go pick up some sort of weapon in town. Didn't Angel say something about one of the old shops in town starting to stock Excalibur? Maybe I should go there. Hmm... A familiar figure emerges from the chemistry lab. Doctor! Ah, if it isn't Miss Rum, you are done with classes for the day. Yes? What business do you have here? I was just heading home. What about you, sir? He appears to be trying to hide the large rack of test tubes he is carrying. I was doing some... Tests to confirm some things. To think that I would only get access to these samples now. It is simply unreasonable. He looks genuinely displeased. He has, has he ever been this openly emotional before? Maybe the tests went badly? Well, I'm not sure what's going on, but cheer up, sir. I'm sure something good will come of it. Something good? It is the last thing I want. And with that blunt remark, he heads off towards the infirmary. I wish I could share some of my cheerfulness with him. <laughs> I have so much, I could brush my teeth with it. <laughs> Tell me. Miss Rum? Y yes sir? He stops and turns around. Do you uh, have any food allergies? Um, allergies?
allergies? Like to peanuts or fish? To soybeans, for instance. No, I don't. I don't think I do, at least. Is that so? He walks away, a self-satisfied expression on his face. You need to explain why you're asking, sir. If you just walk away looking pleased like that, you'll get reported. Alright. Um... I need to get some more water. So, I'll, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get some water. Oh, everything's going wrong. Oh, God. Oh. do this. This was here. And this was in here. I'm a streamer now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright. And this goes here. Alright. Sakuya's so Christmas tree will open for display in just a why didn't I get wrong? <laughs> Not drunk? Uh, <clears throat> no, don't click on things that aren't the game. What are you doing, computer? Why did you not do whatever you think you're doing? Staffords walk busily about the mansion. Okay, but if I click, it goes to nowhere. The space bar it is in the center of the grand salon. Oh, that is a fine ass tree. That must be the tree. Such a vast presence, even in a room this large. certainly would be difficult to carry it away by hand. There appears to be quite a ga crowd gathered outside already. Apparently, there are plainclothes security officers scattered throughout the line. There are, of course, a great number of security personnel within the mansion as well. Have no worry, have no fear. The classy, reliable Gulgard is here. You always know security is reliable when they arrive. Ah, the Gulgard. Stern when necessary, an iron hand, mask, and a velvet glove. I feel safer already. Your house really is huge, Sakuya. Isn't it tough to clean? I cannot comprehend your question. Why should I worry about such things when I have servants? You didn't even know how to use a mop until just recently, after all. Th that sort of foolery is for commoners. It has nothing to do with a Nobel such as myself. Nobel? No, Nobel? 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 Ah, what a waste. You have the makings of a domestic genius, Sakuya. Oh, this scarf is so warm. Yeah. You were way more help at the end of the year cleanup than any of us expected. Ah! Sakuya appears troubled. No doubt I'm sh unsure if he should take that as a praise or as an insult. In any case, I have done to reveal my magnificent Christmas tree before the eyes of bears and plebs. Are you sure the thieves will come? I think that depends on them. Such insight. You, you did a good job of getting the word out. I think we can safely say they know about it. <laughs> Row for says <assist> trap. <laughs> I have deployed elite bodyguards in the employ of the Lebel family throughout the entire area. The thieves will be captured within two seconds of arrival. Gloria 
this beautiful track. Oh, uh, butler, 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 butler. Master Sakuya? What is it, Albert? A letter has arrived, sir. Here it is, sir. Pam nailed it. Hmm. Ellipses. Uh, ha, ha, ha! What does it say, Sakuya? They've got guts. It is a letter announcing their nefarious intent. It says they're coming? May I see? Sakuya hands the letter to Ryota. It says... We want the big tree. Merry Christmas. No. 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 This... I guess it's a letter of intent? An awfully cute one. It might almost be a Christmas card or a letter to Santa. They want the tree. And expect us to hand it over. If they want it, they can come and claim it. Merry Christmas. They say they won't give it to us. Merry Christmas. They say if we want it, we should come and take it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh! S Sakuya, behind you! Exclaim question! Exclaim question! Merry Christmas! It's time for Plan B! There! It's them, Sakuya! The Christmas thieves! Wait, what? After them! Seize them! Have you not holes for eyes, you confounded girl? How did they get in this far? Were they hoping to get the tree just by asking nicely? It's no good, Sakuya. I tried my best to catch them, too. But they got away. I've received no wealth from the security teams, either. It would appear they had escaped. What a dreadful waste of an opportunity. They said something about a plan B before they left, right? I don't think they've given up yet. We better stay on guard. I am well aware. Let us return to the mansion. Mansion. Ah, it's cold. And the thieves haven't shown up yet, either. It's almost midnight already. Maybe they've gone home for the day and are all snug and cozy under a kotatsu. Is that a blanket? Well, I want to be under a kotatsu. I have prepared some ginger tea for you, miss. Please. Oh, the butler. Thank you so much. I always thought black butlers know just what you need. Wow. Indeed, miss. What word from outside? Nothing to report? Scheduled check-ins from all teams are on time, master. Nothing to report. Humph! Have those cowards given up already? It's way too late for us to be up and about. I wish they'd just tell us if they're not coming. What was that noise? Enemy armor in the northwest sector. Armor? We're under attack. I forgot how to do his voice. Sakuya, Raoda, let's go. <sniffs> the nighttime streets are filled with sudden activity. That guard mentioned armor, right? Which means they've brought some they've brought some sort of vehicle, like a truck or something. It matters not. My elite level security will have them neutralized in a matter of seconds. Uh, a report, Master Sakuya. The Labelle security forces were neutralized in seconds. You see, this is what happens to those who stand against the Labelle family. Ha ha ha! Um, Sakuya, wait, that's not what he said. He said we're, not have. Were, not have. We what the? Ke? Indeed, sir. This noise, something's coming. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> they brought a tank. It's the Christmas thieves. In a tank? Wow. They were bringing just a truck. This is 
Way more than I expected. Merry Christmas! We're stealing the tree! We're stealing the tree! That's a tank making a tank sound. Gah! What do we do? It's headed right to... They brought live ammunition! Stop! Stop! What sort of demons would damage my beautiful motion? There are still birds inside! I'll go get them out of there! Oh my gosh! They blew up the council room without a second thought. At this rate, your house is going to end up looking like mine! I cannot have that! We need to stop them. What can I do? I need to stop the thieves tank. Um... Uh, fist of the teenage girl or mailbox attack? I mean, fist of the teenage girl, right? I mean, that's, duh. I clench my fists and assume the stance. The enemy is straight ahead. They cannot dodge. I can feel the strength of Gaia beneath me. My love, my life, I place in this hand. I make my declaration here. The Empress arrives. Take this! Immobile fist of the irrational teenage girl! Nothing. It did. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Sakuya. I've never tried to hunt an animal made of metal before, so I don't know where its weak points are. Even my elite guards were no match for it. There is nothing a bird or human can do to that thing. A sharp crack echoes through the night. And the tank stops? <laughs> no, no, no. A gentleman dove must never give up so easily, Sakuya. What? Yuya? And you've kept a lady up this late. Never mind the thieves. You're the real villain here. <laughs> Please, forgive him. Mon ami. Oh, no, it's fine. I wasn't able to do anything anyway. You, you rascal, what is that thing? What kind of high school student has one of those? This? It's an anti-material rifle. A must-have for young men in Japan these days. Do not mock me with jests. But, Sakuya, even I have a broad axe. Of course a fashionable young man like Yuya is going to have an assault rifle or two. <laughs> this game's so topical. Precisely. I hope you've learned something about Japanese culture today, Sakuya. Japan truly is a complicated and confounding place. Yuya, look out! It's still moving! It would seem so. Alas, I was hoping to have things cleared up and be walking the sweet lady home by now. Don't lay a finger on the rum, lecherous cur! Everybody loves me. She is my underling! Oh. Hmm. Since when? A lady never likes a man who tries to monopolize her, Sakuya. Dodoy. Give me a pillow behind me. Come here, pillow. Don't bend my words. Come here, pillow. Comfort me. Comfort me. I have no such thing in mind. Ha 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 ha. Are you sure? Anyway, it's time to end this. Or do you, mysterious thieving duo? It just stopped. Nice job, Yuya. You're acting straight up cool for once. Why, thank you, mon ami. I'm honored by your words. Merry Christmas. Connect with this. Merry Christmas. Stick that there. Merry Christmas! We fixed it! We fixed it! Yay! Exclaimed question! It, it's not dead yet! Oh, oh dear. I thought I immobilized it. Have you no other plan, Kerr? I have not prepared any more ordnance, no. It seems I have met my match. Forget preparations. Would a super student like you really give up this easily? I'm not done yet, Bonhomme. That said, these two possess an unusual degree of... And rum! <laughs> Look out. Eek! And Rum, are you hurt? I... I'm fine. You, you wait! Your tail! Your beautiful tail is burnt. 
It smells delicious. All that matters is that you're safe. A little burn like this is just another medal of bravery. Sakazaki, you fool! Don't go raising flags here! Come on, we'll withdraw! You seem to be having difficulties. Who would have expected him to show up here? Dr. Iwabine. Why are you here? I took the liberty of examining the council room this morning. I find this case rather interesting. I could help you out if you like. Of course, if you don't need my assistance. <laughs> I don't have... I do have other things to be doing, after all. I can't really see his face in the darkness, but he sounds even more uninterested than usual. Maybe he's in a bad mood again. But not even the doctor would bluff about something like this, right? I think you will find me more reliable than the singed and self-confident dog. What a sharp tongue you have, Doctor. Please, Doctor Iwamine, if, if you have some way of stopping those thieves, please help us. I'd hope to take them alive, but at this point I won't object if you decide to obliterate them entirely. Sakuya, no! They're doing bad things, but I could never live with myself if I let you kill something that adorable. I have no intention of killing them, Miss Rum. The doctor tosses a ball, or rather, a sort of oblong metallic lump to me. Throw it after the tank. You should be able to lend it enough force to rupture the casing. Ah, it's a grenade! Leave it to me, sir. hi -ya! Look, look, I did it! Hole in one! Well done. You have a good throwing arm. But what did that do? There uh, was no great explosion. A tear gas bomb, right? Huh? The tank is swathed in some sort of gas. What? Doctor, we must withdraw. We'll be affected too and won't be able to secure the sieves. Can you stand here? You? We need to get... The gas is spreading throughout the entire area. We need to get back to the mansion and send out guards with gas masks. The gas has no effect on us anyway. Huh? Ooh! Sniff! I'll chew! Sniff! Sniff! The tank hatch opens and the two white creatures stagger out. Oh, they look terrible! Finding an allergen specific to them was... quite simple. I found plenty of samples to work with in the council room, after all. They're currently experiencing symptoms similar to those exhibited by people suffering from pollen allergies. The allergen in this case is soybean flour. Mr. Sakazaki had already created a number of holes in the body of the tank, so it diffused in quite beautifully. I am pleased to see it worked. How kind of you to give me some credit, despite my miserable failure. I hadn't expected that from you. You're an exemplary teacher. Thank you, Mr. Sakazaki. You flatter me. Sir, how did you know so much about these previously unidentified creatures? Look, like he's still in a bad mood. He's starting staring off into space. Oh, called it! Called it! 
Were the tests he was doing this afternoon for this? If so, it was an undeniable success. Shouldn't he be happy? And the way the owls now toss him up. <laughs> Holiday star. And so our freezing midnight war came to an end. Of sorts. Except your fat Christmas thieves, you've nowhere left to run. Now, identify yourselves. Merry Christmas! You won't get to go home any quicker by looking sad. What are your names? Little... Kaku! Merry Christmas! Miru and Kaku? That's all? Kaku? Kaku? Why did you two do all this? Quite frankly, I don't give a hoot about Christmas, and as far as I'm concerned, it's just so much capitalist commercialized rubbish. But there are plenty of birds who really care about it. It's not nice to ruin their fun. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Christmas is all Miru and Kaku have! Merry Christmas! Christmas is ingrained into Miru and Kaku's very instincts! They told Miru and Kaku they were never meant to be born. No one was to give them life, but they were born on Christmas Eve. Because they weren't meant to be born, they had to be removed. So Miru and Kaku were abandoned. Who's telling this story? Miru and Kaku aren't real. Not like everyone else in this. Miru and Kaku are alive, but Miru and Kaku Kaku, I should say Kaku, are different. So Miru and Kaku couldn't be put outside. But Miru and Kaku couldn't stay. So Miru and Kaku were going to be burned, immolated. So Miru and Kaku said goodbye. Miru and Kaku said goodbye to their home. I thought they looked like some more, more like some sort of strange mammals than like birds, but I never would have guessed they had a backstory like that. It's too cruel, Doctor, to create pitiful hybrid beings in your mad scientist experiments and then try to kill them. Maybe you... Oh, it was the Doctor telling that whole story. I, I dropped the ball on that one. Maybe you felt your vi creation violated the laws of nature, but artificial creatures are still alive, just like us. They have the right to... Please... Don't misunderstand. I am not responsible for their creation. Oh, I was supposed to do the narration in their voice. No, that wasn't going to happen. What? He's not? I thought I was being clever, but I think I've made a terrible mistake. Merry Christmas! Miru and Kaku's daddy was a merry daddy. He liked parties. Merry, merry Christmas! Daddy celebrated all through December, especially Christmas. They look excited to the point of getting their memories mixed up. It is a story from long ago. An accident in a certain lab caused the birth of two hybrid life forms. None of the researchers had expected their creation. At first, the new life forms were hoped to hold great scientific value. But they soon proved to be almost identical to existing birds. Once the investigation was complete, they were to be disposed of. But there was one researcher who acted irresponsibly. The researcher was charged with taking care of them. May I ask what you intend to do with them? Do you need to ask? They will be tried in a court of law, naturellement. But they're unidentified creatures, born of excesses of modern science. Can they even have trials? The law only covers humans and birds. Even if they look like birds, I don't think they can. So then... They do not have the right to be tried by law. All they can do is wait to be culled. I object! That was me. I was practicing that. I forgot about that. They may have done some bad things, 
but nobody was badly injured. The worst was Yuya's burn. We can't just kill them. I have a proposal, Mr. Shirogane. Yes, Dr. Iwamine? Shall I take them? You would? You, we can't, Sakuya. Giving them to him is sending them to a fate worse than death, no matter how you look at it. Please, do not be so agitated. I have no intention of harming them. Just yet. In other words, you probably will later. If you are willing to take them in, sir, I have no objections. Be respectful towards Dr. Iwamine, you two rapscallions. Merry Christmas! And make sure you tell us where you hid Mr. Ushihara's Christmas tree, okay? Merry Christmas! And so, with the help of Dr. Iwamine and Yuya, we capture the Christmas thieves Miru and Kaku. No one need fear for their decorations again. But why was the doctor so happy to help? He didn't even ask for compensation. Normally, he would have asked for something. That will be one leg, please. <laughs> Maybe it was the idea of a Christmas present. Oh, 3 a.m. already? That's way too late. We got them to tell us where the stolen trees are, so I should go home and eat udon and sleep. Meru, Kuku, you still have your caretaker rings from the lab, yes? Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas, caretaker, caretaker, look! Let me say, ellipses. Ryuji. Uh, you never did leave anything behind but trouble. Hey. Mr. Ushihara, M Mr. Ushihara, we got your Christmas tree back. Oh my, oh my, thank you. It really is calming to look at, isn't it? I'm so glad yours is intact. Sakuya's was completely incinerated. At least the big tree Sakuya had at home was saved. I guess that's some sort of consolation. And that's the end of the investigation. I'm looking forward to working here over the break. But of course, I am pleased to have you. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I got the rest of the trees back to their owners. And now, <laughs> I'm feeling cheerful. Christmas only comes once a year. I want to spend it having fun with Every birdie. Winter break starts tomorrow, too. I'm excited just thinking about it. What happened to Miru and Cuckoo, anyway? Did the doctor take them to his house? That seems pretty cute. Dr. Uwamine living with the seasonal mascot characters. No. It's too surreal. I can't imagine it. I do wonder, though. I think I'll ask the doctor before break starts. Excuse me. <laughs> the infirmary is transformed. S sir, what happened? Are you actually even more enthusiastic about Christmas than Sakuya? I have no fondness for superstition. Have I not mentioned before? The doctor is transformed too. Maybe it's protective camouflage? Sir, what happened to you? Don't tell me you finally got the Christmas spirit. I accidentally skipped it. They always give me another as soon as I've taken it off. Oh. They always give me another as soon as I have taken it off. It's easier to work if I leave it on. They, Sumir and Kaku, are... Merry Christmas! They're here! You're keeping them in here, sir? Yes, they would only get in the way. At my house. Not that they don't get in the way here. Grumpy as usual. He seems to be putting up with them so far, but he hardly looks happy about it. I wouldn't count on their heads staying attached for much longer. They should calm down after the new year. They are mostly excited by Christmas after all. You don't think you're pushing yourself too hard, sir? What do you mean? Maybe I'm imagining it, but... 
You don't quite look like you mean it, sir. It is your imagination. It is tiring to have them in here all the time. Perhaps I should make a hunch for them outside. It doesn't look like he's using them for research. What is he thinking? He's treating them awfully nicely, though. I've never seen him act that nice. Maybe he likes cute animals. I'm going home now, Doctor. Thank you for everything this year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you. Merry Christmas! Christmas Thieves Attack. Fin. <laughs> Birds don't have fins. They have wings. Happy Holidays.